We've been talking about the word, well, it starts with an S. I'm going to let you guess. Solution. 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 Solute. And salutations. No. Salutations. <laughs> Solutions. Solute. And salutations. Soluble. 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 Solvent. And solubility, right? Soluble, solubility, all very similar words. Those two are very similar words, okay? So, we've been talking about these things because we've been exploring the fact that some chemicals are soluble in water and some are not. Correct? Yeah. Some are. Can you and add a Q to it? That's right. If you, I mean, if they're soluble in water, then we use the AQ suffix, not suffix, but um, abbreviation. Subscript down here to show you that it dissolves in water. Now I put sodium chloride and I put AQ next to it. Do you think sodium chloride really does dissolve in water? Yes. How do we know? Because you have AQ. But I just put that there. Maybe that's not the truth. We can look at our periodic table. Can we look at the periodic table? What do we know about the periodic table? Uh, we know what are metals and what are not. Okay, and what do we know about, well, let's pull out this periodic table. What? Sodium is on the very left. Grab one of those and pass it to the right. Pass it down. Uh -huh. Grab one and pass it down. Here we go, friends. Grab them, pass them down. All right. Now, what is on this periodic table that helps us? What did we learn last time about this periodic table? The green staircase. The green staircase separates the what? Metals and non-metals. Metals and non-metals. What else did we learn in terms of solubility? Um, Li, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, fraxium, all tritium, tritium, um, all of them. If they, if a molecule has them, they're dissolvable. If a compound has contains it. one of those, then it's soluble. How about this one? Does it contain any of those? Yes, ones? sodium. All right, so that's how we know it's soluble. Okay, <laughs> that's how we know it's soluble. I'm going to show you other things. Yes, friend. Um, is this side the solid side? The solid side. In terms of solid, liquid, and gas, there's not really a, um, a, a, a trend or a side. Because right here it says gold and mercury. Gold is what? Solid, liquid, or gas? Anybody know? Solid. It's a solid. Mercury, is it a solid, liquid, or gas? Gas. Anybody know about mercury? Solid, liquid. Mercury is the only metal that's a liquid. It's a liquid. It's that shiny stuff that slides oh, back and forth. Have you ever seen it before? Yeah, I've seen a thermometer. In the thermometers oh, and also in, um, well, the old thermostats. Okay? So we don't see it very much anymore because it is poisonous. And so, well, not mercury itself, but um, when it begins to interact with different compounds, it can become poisonous. So, just play with it. But so, we're still using um, thermometers? No, they've replaced mercury thermometers with other solvents just like alcohol looks fine and so but they used mercury initially because of its density and its tendency to stay put so it make good thermometers but we figured out how to make the glass better and everything now so we don't use that all right so i'm going to give you some other components to compounds that help you know that they are soluble all right if compounds contain this group, it's called a nitrate group, NO3. If compounds contain the nitrate group, they are always soluble. Okay? So we're going to make a list on this chart here of things that are always soluble. First, we're going to say group 1A. Right? Group 1A. You know what group 1A is? First line. That's our sodium, our lithium, our potassium, rubidium, cesium, Francium, okay? All of those are Except soluble. hydrogen. Hydrogen is not an indication of solubility, that's right. Although most or many things that have hydrogen can be soluble. Water. 
Question two. Soluble in water. All right. NO3. If it contains NO3, it's soluble. And this thing is called nitrate. Can you say nitrate? Nitrate. Mm -hmm. All right, nitrate. If it contains nitrate, it's soluble. Where is that? Sam, scoot over. Or Tim, scoot over. Find a seat there. No. Here's another one that's soluble. C2H3O2. Acetate. If it contains acetate, it's soluble. If it contains acetate, it's soluble. Okay? <laughs> Thanks, Mommy. All right. If it contains... Oops. I don't see any of these metals. Those are not single metals. Okay. I think they're like compounds. For chlorine. That's nitrogen with oxygen. Yeah. These are what we call polyatomic ions. And I'm not showing you the charge right now because we haven't got into that. I'm just showing you that when you see these things in compounds, then you know that they're So that's, is that a compound in a compound? No, I'm not sure if they have to be in this. Do they have to be like that, or could it be like any of the No, yes, it has to be like this. Uh-huh, NO3, C2H3O2, ClO4. All right. So, I'm going to draw a compound oh, yeah. down here. That's, that's And you're going to tell me whether it's soluble or not. Okay, here we go. Ready? There it is. This compound here, is this compound soluble? No. no. Oh, wait. wait. <laughs> no. It's not soluble. It's not soluble. It's not soluble. Okay? How do we know it's not soluble? Because it doesn't have Because it doesn't have an alkali metal. It doesn't have an alkali metal. It doesn't have group 1A. And it doesn't have those things. It doesn't have any of these components. What is that metal? This is chromium hydroxide. Chromium hydroxide. Um, chromium is just the shiny metal used every, to make things. Every compound that exists isn't necessarily useful or have use. However, um, they do use chromium in the old breathalyzer tests. You remember when um, in the old fashioned movies you might have seen, I don't know, I remember in. Um, absent-minded professor, the guy got drunk and he had to blow up a balloon. He wasn't drunk, but the, but the policeman thought he was because he said he saw a flying car. Remember that part at all? He mm -hmm. had to blow up the balloon. And they were trying to test how much alcohol was on his breath to see if he had been drinking too much. And they used to use chromium in, in those tests to find that out. But it's been replaced since then. So... Here's another one I'm going to give you, okay? All right. Is this one soluble in water? Yes. 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 How do we know? Lithium. Because it has an alkali metal in it. Isn't lithium. lithium like radioactive? Um, um, it is very explosive uh, if it's in a metallic form. This oh. is not in the metallic form, this is in the ionic form. Yeah. Dang it. Okay. Like sodium? Very good. That was called, this one was called lithium hydroxide. Lithium hydroxide. Okay? Okay. Now, let's get into a little bit more complex solubility rule. I don't know. Could somebody find group seven on there? Group seven. Or do we have any group numbers on there? No. Okay, so it's the halogens. It's the second to the oh, just the count last them one the on the right. Just count them second on the to the noble gases. Yeah, it's the seven. one that it's starts. It's group. It's the seventh group. Yeah. Can we say seven? The yellow numbers? one. No, no, it's just you count them. You're at one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Oh. Well, um, fluorine starts with fluorine, right? Fluorine, yes. chlorine, bromine, iodine. All right. Oh, Costatine and unsupplied. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, so that these group, are all soluble. That group is usually soluble, except with. So, 
I'm gonna touch it right here. Oh, so now let's say if it has those elements, Group please, seven, unless it's... Except with silver, mercury, gold. or lead. Or lead. So what, what yes. letters are those? That gold. is silver, AG, mercury, HG, or lead, PB. Silver, PB, PB, PB. Okay, PB. so here's one. Silver, red, gold, that one. HG, what is that? Yeah. Silver. No, that's oh, no. gold. Gold. Well, that's not gold. gold. It, it, it's mercury. Mercury. Mercury, mercury. bromide. Mercury, bromide. Very it's good. Not soluble. It is. Is mercury bromide soluble? No. no. Wait, why not? Well, because this rule says that group seven, these are all the things that are soluble. Oh. Except when it's with silver, mercury, or lead. Here's bromide. And okay. okay. No, it's not soluble. Not soluble. Very good. How about this one? No. That's yellow. How about this one? Yes, it is soluble. It has nitrate. How do we know it's soluble? Because it has nitrate. soluble. Because it has nitrate in it. Could you maybe think of the name of this compound? Um, lead nitrate. That's right, lead nitrate. Very good. Okay? Lead nitrate is soluble. All right, here's another one. And here's another rule. Here's another rule. This is getting so annoying. SO4. I do this. Sulfate. Well, sulfates are generally soluble. Generally soluble. I'm not going to give you any lessons here now. It's pretty much always soluble. Like copper sulfate? Yeah. I can't see anything else in there that makes it soluble except for sulfate. The copper sulfate. And how about this one? Are most metals usually not soluble? Most. That's right. Most metals are not soluble. So, how about this one? Is this one soluble? Oh, I don't see it there. I don't see it there. It's in the middle. It's in the blue transition. Oh, copper. 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 OH is OH OH is hydroxide. No, it's not no. Copper hydroxide. It's not soluble. That's right. No. Copper hydroxide is not soluble. You just drop a rock in the water. Okay. Very good. So, let me write some things down here on the bottom. So, this top here is soluble. What time is it? No, you're not. One minute. So, down here, not soluble. Down here, down here, I'm going to write some things that are not soluble. Now, you can't have a list of things that are just, these are never soluble. You can't do that because if it has, if it has group 1A, it's always soluble, right? Or if it has group 7, and it doesn't have one of those, then it's always soluble. So when you say not soluble, it's always, unless it's like this. So usually, okay. silver... Uh, lead and yeah, silver, lead, and mercury are like always never soluble unless they're with nitrate, unless acetate, with nitrate chlorine, or sulfur. Well, lead, yeah. Okay. Not soluble hydroxides. OH. Let me do that over a little bit. O M H. What? O-H-M. Hydroxide. O -H -M. Okay, so that one's not soluble. All right, guys, that's good for today. There are lots of confusing rules for solubility. For AQ! For solubility. But we want to go and begin to understand them as much as we can. Are we going to experiment with them? 
Uh, well, I'm not sure. I don't want to make a lot of weights, but we'll do. We'll figure something out. Okay. All right, friends. See you later. Thank you for coming.